I have, oops. Oh God. <laughs> I have two, two <laughs> wrist weights. I have too many bags, you caught me. <laughs> what the f went on in my house? Oh my gosh, hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Juliana Strickland. I own Space Camp Organizing and we have organized Kristen and Bree's apartment and now we are so excited to be here organizing Jen's apartment. Not the whole apartment. There are some parts of Jen's apartment that Jen wants to keep private and you are gonna respect that. You're gonna respect that. It's not really that interesting. It's yeah. just like a bed. But the thing is, is Jen's apartment is really neat. It's sort of one of those things where it's like, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind and it's a mess. So like a lot of my cabinets are very disorganized in a way that like makes them not really utilitarian. I also moved into this apartment in February and I haven't really hung any of my art. So okay. it's like, it kind of feels, I guess, in transit. You were really nervous. I'm actually really glad that you're doing this because I know for a long time you were like, stay out of my house. I honestly felt more uncomfortable inviting like our cameras into my home just because I, I was like, I don't know if I want people to see how I live. I'm really excited for you to feel fully moved in because I think this is something that we see a lot of clients have struggles with. It's like moving is so exhausting and so stressful. You kind of like get everything in, get things out of boxes, throw them random places so you can go back to work and get on with your life. And then it can just sort of stay like that for a long time, you know? Even though, like you said, on the surface, your place looks very neat and it is pretty neat. I think that getting it to a place where you feel really good here is our main goal. So I'm excited about that. Amazing. Yeah. Gosh, should we go through the apartment Let's now? Let's do it. Let's do Let's it. Let's get started. <laughs> So the inside of this is a real tapestry. So I'll Let's open see. it. For, oh. oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's a hazard. Um, it defends itself. Quiet, you. <laughs> Kristen's right over there. Hi. Like I have like sure. my drill, my toolbox, like a bunch of other random like around the house items in there. These are chair wheels. Yeah, I'm really interested in how many categories of things we're going to be able to find in here. This is great. These are yours. <gasps> this is yours. It's a measuring tape. Where's the COVID test? Our goal is for you to be able to find things easier in here, right? Yes, okay. yes, exactly. Amazing. Does anybody want an x-ray of my hand? Juliana. I might. Yeah, well, we it's it's available. Are you currently reading all of these books or doing No, so the books all? I'm currently reading are on the coffee table. These okay. are like books that are two reads. I bought this without a handle because I bought it at a garage oh, okay, sale. Okay. And then I bought this online so I could be like, new handle. Did um, you buy one or two? Did I buy two? Oops. I have, oops. Oh God. Is it the lighter fluid? I have two, two <laughs> wrist weights. Let's move to the kitchen, which is coincidentally right over here. Okay, do you want us to help you create a system for your mail? Yeah, so I think I'm to... open to that. Okay, this is a great countertop, but I think you'll feel better when you're cooking. Yeah. If you don't have like a bunch of papers next to your gas stove. Right, because I was thinking right. like that could be dangerous. That's actually yeah. Kristen's mixer. I borrowed it to bake a cake and I need to give it back. So that's- She's that'll here, go, we're gonna put it in her car. I love it. Yeah. Wait, what? Your mixer's going home with you. Oh no! Oh, yes! <laughs> Great. The inside of my cabinet can I is do the like, yes, you can do the honors. It's like okay. a little bit, it's a little bit. It's cavernous. You know, what the hell is going on in there? These are amazing cabinets, but it's so deep in there that I'm sure if you want to get one thing in the back, then like other things come tumbling out. You know yeah. what I mean? This is like miscellaneous. This is pretty normal for me. <laughs> do you only really have two spoons? No, there's in? a bunch of stuff in the dishwasher. <laughs> That's in my bags. Oh wait, the spoons are in here. No, they're not. Oh, yeah, they are. You have four of each? Four spoons, four knives, <laughs> four utensils. Okay, so you have them now. Yeah, okay. unloading, I also have four plates. So let me just get rid of those four right now. Since I live alone, I usually don't use a dishwasher unless I've like baked and there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be cleaned. Okay. Or if it was a Sunday and I was alive, you know, sometimes. Well, let's put it back. Let's put it back. Ow. It's fine. Where does your food live in this kitchen? Um, it mostly lives, so I keep snacks. Oops, ow. Okay. I keep perishables. And yeah, those that's like tea, mugs, miscellaneous. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Miscellaneous. I want to kind of like take things out and see if like... Yeah, if there can be better it, Is spaces. there a better space? This is, does this feel better for you here versus here? Oh, I do also have another cabinet. <laughs> a secret cabinet. And so this, I don't think it's that crazy. Kristen wanted me to show you guys this because it's just like an extra cabinet. Um, I keep cleaning supplies in here. So here's my question. Ooh, there's a bug. Sorry, that's so... I, I just I have to clean that. That's going to bother me. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm like sort of Buddhist, so I don't like killing things, but you know, eh. I'm just perplexed. 
flexed what? by this incredibly heavy crate. <laughs> so I got it. I did a brand deal with HBO a few years ago where the, I was promoting their show Perry Mason mm -hmm. and they sent me a bunch of stuff. So I just kept it because I was like... That's why it looks like it's like from the 1920s. Yeah. I think it's a little impractical for like daily or weekly usage because it's so heavy and you can't really see what's in it that easily. It's also And damaging. it's scraping up the edge of your... Yeah. Your cabinet. Oh, it is. Yeah. Maybe there's another use for it. Yeah, that is, that's true. Or maybe you let it go. Maybe. We'll address this. Okay, great. So we came upstairs. Mm -hmm. We're in your bedroom. But We're not bedroom. showing the bed part of the bedroom. Yeah. We're just that the private. Yes. Part. It's pretty big, right? I got a big desk. Yeah, so there's a totally. lot of stuff on here mm -hmm. that like doesn't necessarily need to be on here. Like this is pain relief gel. Okay. And this is for when I broke my wrist and it really didn't do shit. So my friend sent me this Naruto kunai because we're dorks. That's here too. Um, also, all my knives are here. So like, I have a oh. knife collection. And do you like, want to do something with that? Like, yeah. have a way to display them? Or just throw them in the credenza downstairs? Yes, no, no, no. Okay. I think if I had like a place where I could display my knives, uh -huh. I think I would like definitely like, A, remember to use more. Like sometimes like yeah. you just want to take one when you're going hiking or something. Mm -hmm. You know, Polaroid films, this beat. Oops. <laughs> This is my bulletin board, uh -huh. which I think could go here. It could be over there. Sure, cute. But like, yeah, I have like people that like send me things and put me things. So that could be nice. Good gravity. Yeah. yeah. Really, also, it's worth it. She never sees it coming. I no. don't like space. I will be always be subject to gravity. I'm not going up there <laughs> until it's heaven time, if that's real. Sorry, I just got to cover all my bases. Don't smite me if you're real. Okay. Focusing this conversation, yeah. we want to display some knives. We want to organize jewelry. We want to organize some desk stuff. Yeah, so I think just like getting this a little bit less this would be nice, but you know. This is great. I can't wait to get this awesome. set up for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we are, we are, we've kicked off. So we're the first stage of Sheena and Daniel's work. They're like, they're, they have a whole system uh -huh. and they just started and I'm here. Okay, cool. Wow. This is fun. What's happening right now, just for context? So this is the stage where we go through one space and we pull everything out. And then we pair like with like. So all the Tupperware goes together, all the baking stuff. This is like a grouping staging area. Jen was given a job. I was given a job. I have a huge stack of mail that I need to go through. I usually do paperless, so I'm, oh, this is my health insurance card. <laughs> it's a garbage bag, so this is for trash. This is a wedding that I went to already in June. Okay. okay. Hey, look, it's another insurance card. What? <laughs> this is a card from my sister. Oh, you should keep that. I know, it feels like yesterday you were in seventh grade. Well, that's up, I'm almost 30. Um, <laughs> Receive $250 off your advanced funeral services plans. Oh, like a pre-need. I've seen six feet under. I don't want it. Have you voted yet? No, keep my keep all the voting materials. By the time this video comes out, we'll have a different mayor. Karen Bass, hopefully. Hopefully. Renee Caruso, Caruso sucks. sucks. <laughs> he f sucks. He better not be our mayor by the time this video comes out. Watch, he will be, and then he'll hunt us down. These are photos that I had on my dorm room wall. Oh my God. Oh, cute. Some of these I do want to keep and I will put them on my bulletin board. Some of these people I'm not friends with anymore. This is a photo of me when I was a senior in high school. Oh my God. <laughs> Wasn't I pretty? You look like your sisters. I mean, we are related. <laughs> wow. Or not. That's amazing. Yeah. You have a lot more stuff in your house than I thought you would have. Yeah, I honestly feel that way too. Well, 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 I see you're getting rid of this. Oh yeah, this was a comb that Brie gave me when they were cleaning out your house. And she's like, do you want it? It's a nice comb. And I was like, yeah. I don't need it. <laughs> Sorry, Brie. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, sisterhood is a traveling thing we're getting rid of. Yeah. Jen, you're actually acquiescing a lot of control right now. Okay, now you're behind the light. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, how much control am I acquiescing? <laughs> you're normally what I would say, um... I'm a control freak. 
Yeah. It's fine. We can say it. I'm a little bit anal. I'm very particular about my space. <laughs> like when she started working on the bookshelf, I knew I couldn't even watch her do it. I know. I was like, I was I like, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let her do this. I said to Sheena when you were gone, I was just like, when you started working on that, I was like, I can't believe this is happening. I was like, there's no way. I thought, I thought you were gonna jump in and be like, no. Yeah. I mean, I considered it, and then I was like, then what's the video? It's like. This is, looks very different and very cool. So, yay! You're still getting it in because, like, you'll, you're still doing this thing where when they're like, "What should we do with this?" Instead of saying, "We should do this," you're like, "I'll just take care of that." Well, because that's just how you are. That's just what I do. That's girl. just who you are. Yeah, but you're honestly, I think you're doing a really great job. Look at all these bags. I need a lot of bags. Yeah. Look at all I these bags. I don't need that many. I have too many bags. You got me. <laughs> What about all these brown bags? What do you use them for? I don't. I, sh I just feel guilty that I bought them instead of using my reusable bags. I'll take them. You want them, Kelly? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay well, problem solved. <laughs> the sister of the traveling problem. <laughs> what, what is this little mean? armless sweater? That's a hot water. Oh, water. water. <laughs> it's no. It's for my. It's for my baby. <laughs> Sorry, what else is the rest of Jen's homework? So I don't think I have- I think what Sheena was saying is I don't have that much homework because my place was just an incredible, Ooh. incredible space that everything made sense. Is that and true? And everything was where- and there was no space that was being used in a way that wasn't efficient. And she's saying that with her eyes, <laughs> if not her mouth. I'm gonna stay out in the middle of this conversation. <laughs> All right, hello, we are at my desk with Sheena. She's gonna ask me a couple of questions that she prefaced were not interesting. Do you need like personal care items at your desk? Yeah, I would definitely love a drawer because I do, I file my nails sometimes at my desk. I do desk bust after. I live alone. It's very specific. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, my mom, if my mom were here, she'd be like, that's disgusting, you do that over the sink. What? No and one does like, it over the sink. <laughs> yeah. Grow up, Kristen. <laughs> they also have the I leaned on it, and then it- One thing in the shot, you saw how I managed to almost break it. First of all, shh. <laughs> I think that looks great. Okay, so we'll it's a that. secret. And then you can't see it. Yeah. Yeah, watch the end of the video or scrub forward like three minutes. <laughs> Good luck, dorks. All right. And this is a card that you addressed, but it, uh, from- Oh you, yeah, I went to that wedding never... and I was supposed to leave it in their card box, and instead yeah. I took it back to California with me. Jordan and Rachel, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I love you. Hello, so Juliana couldn't make it today, but we have Sheena and Daniel who are gonna walk us through all the changes that happened to my apartment. I'm so excited. Kristen is over there looking very cute. Hi, I'm directing. I really like all the changes in here. I love the plant added to the mantle. So you mentioned to us that you really like looking at this frozen tree. You said it was a really cool piece of art. And so we thought putting it over your TV, which is a direction that you're facing probably the most in this room, yeah. would be a good. Plus it's long, it's a longer piece of art. So it kind of takes up this wall better and it's able to stand by itself. Whereas the pieces of art above the couch, they needed to be paired together. Plus from what you told us, these two pieces of art are more sun protected. Yes. One has that like UV covering. The that those are best suited to yeah. be there. Not to toot our own horns, but like toot, 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 toot. Well, we should talk about the book show. Yeah, the book what? Show. It's my favorite part. There's something about grouping books by color that makes it so much more soothing to the eye. I feel like when they're all mixed up, it's very overwhelming. And you already had all these like really fun little knickknacks and your picture frame and things. So once they're grouped by color and organized, we just kind of pop those things in, makes it like a little bit more personalized to you. It really does. I mean, it truly draws the eyes in in a way that it didn't before. And I, I really do. I like looking at it a lot more. And I already liked looking at it. So we are on the ground now because we are showing the cabinet that previously only had like a Perry Mason crate in it. Daniel, can you tell me a little bit about what is in here? So what we did was we got you smaller bins that you can easily pull in and out. All the categories are divided. Like this, it's like if you pull it out gently, it's not gonna, it's nowhere near as heavy as the other Perry Mason thing. So my Perry Mason crate, which is really heavy, has now become my like assorted sports crate. So I have my yoga mat in there, my helmet, and uh, now I have a place for my beach ball, which I never use. <laughs> I'm crawling back to the credenza, which 
looks very different. You'll notice everybody that it's open and scissors did not jump out at me. It looks freaking cool. So this credenza was amazing. It was Thank in a very you. high trafficked area, but it really wasn't serving you too well. What we did was essentially create a system for you based on how you use the space. So down below, we have your toolkits. And then right to the left of it, if you're running low on something, you can grab from there. And then up above, it's all your day-to-day -day heading out items. Oh, cool! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is truly so much more useful than it was previously. I love this. These are so cute. They look so much better and just like throwing stuff there, but I can still see everything, which is super useful to me. All right, well, this is out. So cool. Let's move on, we have more to do. All right, we are off the floor. We're on our feet, baby, and we are in the kitchen now. Overall, we try to make your life a little easier by making the things that you're using more accessible and also creating some division so that categories are separated and have a very contained home. I would say the biggest change is food placement. Ooh. Cause you had your food a little bit up here and a little bit up here yes. and a little bit down here. Right there, yeah. And now, stuff that you're using on the regular is in these big drawers. Oh my, yeah, that looks so much better. Those wooden things, this, the dividers, that is dope. This drawer is also redone. So before you had like a lot of your cooking utensils were kind of in yeah, your they countertop all over the crop, place. but it was really hard to get it out and put it back in because it was really stuffed. So we created a little more division in here so you could have more space for that stuff. I also will point out that this looks so different. This little cabinet thing. Now it's actually usable counter space, which I really, really like. I didn't even realize that that was like space I was missing out on until seeing how clear it looks. Also, we create like makeshift drawers here. It became like an actual drawer situation, right. which I love. And holy moly! What is going on? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like a little additional faux shelves. Like Y'all basically gave categories for like baking supplies, like pans, bowls. It's like kindergarten. Everyone has a little cubby. Yeah. And look, look, this, look how nice this looks up here. It's just like pretty. It's like you organize the cans by rainbow, which is not what happened, but I think it looks nice. The other thing I guess is under the sink, under the sink has been sink. has been cleaned up a little bit. Wow! wow. Oh my gosh, wow. Cause now I can actually see what I have in there too. This is like truly, I feel like from a utilitarian standpoint, gonna change my life, so thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're gonna move upstairs. Let's go gang, to my desk. Wow, this looks so much better and seems a lot more useful. Look at these boxes. First of all, I love this desk. Thank you, Because so much. having the extra levels, really awesome for organization. So we took basically all of the items that were out on your counter and we gave them their own little homes. Let's talk about the knives. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I love how nice they look. And you guys hung my bulletin board. We did. And you have a bunch of cool stuff on it. Yeah. And then also now I have a little shredder so I can shred all of my documents. All right, well, I just wanna say thank you to both of you and everybody at Space Camp for all the hard work you've done making this place blossom. I really appreciate it. Jen, you did a great job letting people control your space. Thank you. I love that we've reached the part, uh, the compliment Jen section of the yeah. video. Yeah. That is my favorite part. You Should we keep going? MVP. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you, Space Camp. Thanks, guys. And we'll hopefully, you know, we'll see you again. Kristen, get in Bye. here. We'll say goodbye. Bye. I'm not Bye. <laughs>